Trump Media and Technology Group breaking news this morning announcing a merger with TAE Technologies, a $6 billion deal that the company says will blaze the path toward U.S. dominance in AI. It is seeking out a location to bring construction on the world's first utility scale fusion power plant, subject to required approvals. The move creates one of the first publicly traded fusion companies, Trump Media and Technology Group, uh, rising this morning. Take a look at the stock. It is up 24 percent right now, had been up better than 30 percent earlier in the morning when the news first broke. Joining me right now is the CEO of Trump Media and Technology Group, Devin Nunes. Devin, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here this be morning. Great to be with you this morning, Maria. Thank well, you. Well, congratulations on this big deal. You've got to explain this to me. I don't understand why a technology company is merging <laughs> with a nuclear fusion company. Well, technology is all about energy, Maria. You talk about it every day on your show. It's the biggest vulnerability we, we have right now in this country. As you know, True Social was first started because not because the president needed a new company, but because people were being banned by the Internet. We built the technology to solve that problem and save free speech. Now we've been looking at what's the biggest issue at the highest level? What do we have to solve for? We have all these data centers coming in. We have AI coming in. And right at the center of that, what all of that needs to operate is energy. We need this country to be energy independent. We need to bring prices down. And if we want to bring industry back and be the capital and the hub for data centers, we're going to have to get nuclear fusion to work. Now, look, for 20 years, we bought solar panels and windmills from China. Those policies failed. What the Trump administration is trying to do is actually do real energy, whether it's oil, gas, all the above, but including nuclear. And what we've been out doing is we've looked, we've scoured the world and the globe to find the best scientists, the top people, the best company. And we want to do nuclear fusion because nuclear fusion, although it was discovered some 75 years ago, nuclear fusion is really the whole, holy grail. The science is there. And the good thing about the company that, that we're merging with is these have the very best people we have in America, 1,600 patents, 400 scientists a bunch of award-winning scientists. And they are ready to build. They've, built, they've been working on this project for 25 years with private funding. Uh, the Chuck Schwab family was one of the original investors. Other investors like Google and, and others have put money uh, into this company. Uh, they were looking to go public. Uh, and what we did is we said, look, we're a technology, you're a technology company. Let's build the synergies together uh, and let's go out and build the world's first nuclear fusion project. And this, this project, Maria, is ready to go. Uh, that's what they really lack. They've done all the science. They've built five models of it. And now it's ready to be built. And that's the key. We have to start doing something in this country that matters. And that's what Trump media is all about. So we've looked for the crown jewel. We found the crown jewel. We built up a tremendous balance sheet over the last year and a half since we went public. Uh, and now this is a company with, with Schwab and others uh, that we can merge this together and get out and build the world's first nuclear fusion plant, which we're going to need. We're, the the so, country's going to run out of energy if we don't do something. Are, are you expecting Trump media technology to rely on nuclear energy and be independent in terms of using now your own energy from nuclear fusion? Yeah. Well, when you really look at this, the size and scope of these plants, so the initial plant will be 50 megawatt, and a lot of people are talking about these smaller plants. But the technology that we're, that we're looking at, that we've invested in, uh, is actually will build power plants that are at, at scale, at size, so anywhere from 350 to 500 megawatts. And not only that, Maria, is you can put nuclear power, if done correctly, now remember, in the past with the big nuclear power plants, the costs ran out of, went, went out of control, skyward out of control. Nuclear fusion has always been there. It really is the holy grail. It's like the sun. Right. Uh, but we haven't been able to harness that yet. It just hasn't the technology, the science. But that's the difference between TAE and all the other nuclear companies out there around the world. This is the one that won't rely on rare earth elements, won't have to rely on a bunch of magnets. And it's the only company that's actually built something. Uh, that's what we were most impressed with was not just all the scientists and all the engineers that right. had worked with private funding, <laughs> all private funding, I must say, 
Uh, and now what they're looking to do is they need a way to get in and access the public markets. We provide that opportunity for them to access the public markets. Uh, and I would just encourage everyone to, to actually look at this company. I think when you, when yeah. you look around the country, look around the world, this is the world's premier nuclear fusion company without question. Uh, and when we talk at Trump Media and Technology Group, what do we want to do? We want to acquire crown assets, crown jewel assets. This is a crown jewel asset that could change the world. Now, upon closing, shareholders of each company will, uh, will own approximately 50 percent of the combined company on a fully diluted equity basis. You're going to be co-CEO? Co-CEOs yeah, never so the, work, the, Kevin. <laughs> well, that's not true. I think Oracle, it worked pretty well for a long time. OK. Well, uh, well what, Yeah, so and this is the perfect setup for it. Um, Dr. Binderbauer, who's really the genius behind all of this, he will stay running and working with all the scientists. Uh, I will stay with all the true social assets, and then we will help out where we can. Obviously, this is going to need, we're going to have to pick a site. We're okay. going to have to pick a state. We're going to have to work with state and local governments. Um, I also feel like there is a place, a role for our national defense in this. I mean, this is one of the things that the, you know, I think we've fallen behind uh, as a country because we focus too much on, on windmills. Uh, we haven't done enough in nuclear. Uh, you see the Trump administration now really trying to get us focused back on that. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, it's important, I think, for so we'll be able to play an important role uh, in helping getting this cited. And remember, we're going to find the site, pick the state and get the one and get the get construction underway in 2026. Nobody else can really say that. So is, is it fair to say that the priority at Trump Media and Technology now will be energy, not social media? Well, no, well, everything is important, but we solve social media, right? I mean, we, we built the streaming platform, the social media platform. It's global. It works. We don't go down. Uh, it's amazing technology. Mm. Uh, and what this really is, Maria, uh, is a secondary company. And look, yeah. it doesn't, like right now, I mean, look, it's a major project that has to be undertaken. Uh, the good thing is, is that we have the capital to go build this first reactor. So this isn't like some that we're going to go beg the government for money or we're going to go out and do additional pipes. We have enough capital right now to build this project over the next few years. Okay. Uh, that's, right. you know, that's what we really did. We set this company up for success uh, with a big balance sheet. Uh, and now we're ready to go do something big. And what, what is, there is nothing bigger at the highest level in this country right now, nothing mm. more important than uh, fixing the energy crisis. Yeah. I mean, you hear right. it every day on your show. For sure, for sure. Right, we're going to be following this as you uh, continue putting these two uh, companies together. Uh, the stock obviously reacting this morning and is higher, but I got to get your take on another issue here while we have you, Devin. Newly classified mm -hmm. documents reveal the extent of Joe Biden's weaponization of government. Emails released by Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley show that in 2022, the FBI did not even believe it had probable cause to raid President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home, but they did so anyway because of uh, severe pressure from the Biden Justice Department. Devin, the last time we spoke, you questioned that raid on Mar-a-Lago. You were right. You've been questioning that raid every time I spoke with you ever since 2022. What's your reaction to this new information that, in fact, the FBI told the leadership, we don't have probable cause here, but they pushed them to do it anyway? Look, it's really damning evidence. I'm glad that Cash Patel and, and Attorney General Bondi are bringing this out. If you remember, Maria, I've been saying this for, for, for months now. I think I've been That's saying right. it since they first raided Mar-a-Lago. Yes, you have. They were looking for the document that President Trump had declassified that was the document that I wrote with our committee that stayed hidden. And, you know, these criminals that did this to Mar-a-Lago, that did this to the president, that did this to, to Melania Trump, they were looking for a document that was actually just sitting at the CIA that was declassified by President Trump. And you see that now with what's come out. The document wasn't there. They basically accused President Trump of, of stealing a document, taking it there, that he had already declassified. But guess what? The bureaucrats, when he left office, left that locked in the CIA for four years. It wasn't until President Trump got back, the Republicans in the House released it, President Trump declassified it. Now that information is out. And what do we find out? 
these fools at the DOJ and FBI, this weaponized yep. process that went against the president to do an unprecedented act of raid Mar-a-Lago, raid a sitting or a former president's home, that was done on false pretenses. President Trump never had those documents. Why? Because yeah. we don't break the law. And it's amazing that, but who did break the law? were the criminals that ran that investigation, the top people in the Biden administration at the Department of Justice. What they did was criminal, and they need to be prosecuted for it. And I think now what we talked about, this is the evidence yeah. uh, that is that I told you had to be there. I knew they yeah. were looking for these documents, and now we have the evidence. You do. And by the way, I have the documents right here in front of me, and that is your report on the Russia collusion uh, lie, the made-up story, and it's, it's damning. This report is damning uh, because it outlines exactly what they did, the smears against President Trump uh, for a 10-year conspiracy. Devin, we're going to be watching this uh, merger and the combination of TAE with Trump Media and Technology, and of course, we will have you back soon to talk more about all of it. Thank you so much.